get together as classmates. Thank you for, for providing us with the teachers, mentors, friends, and family who have helped us reach this point of our lives. We ask that you continue to guide us throughout our lives, and please return us with safe travel tonight as we return home. In your name we pray, amen. amen. Now I would like to introduce Jordan Jackson for the pledges. surreal standing here after watching so many others do the same. There were times when we thought we were never going to make it here, but it looks like we proved ourselves wrong. We would not be here without the support of some incredibly important people, such as all of the faculty, our superintendent, Mr. Stuart Berg, the school board members, and most of all, our loved ones. I would like to take the next couple of moments to acknowledge and to thank the people 
that never once allowed us to doubt ourselves or each other. Our mothers, fathers, grandparents, cousins, and friends are the reason that we stand tall, confident in the fact that we have achieved something great, <coughs> something memorable in our time here. Without the support from these people, there is no telling where any of us would be standing right now. So to my family, my parents, I want to say thank you and that I love you. At this time, I would like to welcome Cooper Adams, our salutatorian, to the stage as he shares not your ordinary graduation speech. Before I begin tonight, I would just like to start by saying that I understand that those of you here are here for one purpose only, the child sitting here next to me on the stage. You probably don't care what I have to say, and at some point probably thought to yourself, ugh, I hope this boy gets done with his speech to you and I'm ready to see my baby graduate. <laughs> to this I say, I understand, and I hope to get through this speech with something for you all to think about. For those of you who have ever met me, you may know that I am not the most traditional person to ever walk this earth and I accordingly wrote this speech to fit that. I'm not your ordinary person, so this is not going to be your ordinary graduation speech. Instead of choosing a poem or a quote or some kind of story to base the speech around, I hope to instead ask every single person here tonight, whether you be dressed in happy gown or here before me, to do something a little different. Typically, most graduation speeches celebrate the next step in our lives, where they focus on what lies ahead. And while this is not necessarily a bad thing, I would rather instead ask everyone to look at the past, to look back at the things that make us the people we are in this very moment. Over the past four years, I've heard many of my peers say something along the lines of, I'm ready to graduate, or even, I can't wait to leave this place and actually start my life. And my one question to this has always been, why? Why do we always look forward instead of back? Why do we choose to run ahead without realizing what we're leaving behind us? Don't get me wrong, I'm ready to see what life has in store for me too, but not to the point where I want to denounce everything that has led up to this. None of us would be who we are at this very moment if it were not for every single second before this, both good and bad. We owe everything to the people and the moments that have formed the paths on which we travel. Every tear, every kiss, every hug, handshake, laugh, scream, conversation, fit of rage, bad joke, heartbreak, celebration, and loss are all culminated in one place within each and every one of us, and we should all be grateful for all of these moments. How can anyone here tonight not help but to think back to these moments over the past four years? How will we measure the time we've spent here through high school? We use time as a way to measure how close we are to something or how far away something is. For instance, many of you are currently judging my speech based off of how long it is, hoping for it to be over soon. Many students here counted down the days until tonight arrived, eagerly awaiting the events to unfold. But several years down the line, will any of us even remember those days, or those weeks, or even those years? Most likely not. Instead, most of us will measure the time to pass not with semesters, but with the memories and friendships we made. We'll choose to forget the days and the weeks and replace them with the laughter we shared and the tears we shed. These memories, will eventually fade, but there will still be a strange sort of nostalgia that will appear from time to time, giving us glimpses of the time we've had together. Speeches such as this typically ask us to look forward and start the next chapter of the book of our lives, but personally, I like to reread books, so instead, I'm gonna propose that we instead reflect on what has already passed. We sometimes get too busy looking ahead that we tend to forget the moments that make us who we are, but the future holds no promises, and there's nothing we can do about that. The only thing that is certain is the past. We forget things such as nights in which we laugh so hard our ribs ache for days, long road trips to distant places, getting to cars stuck in the mud only to tackle about it later, movie nights with family, fireworks on warm summer evenings, rides on Ferris wheels, listening to mixtapes with friends in crowded cars, huddling in bleachers during Friday night football games attempting to stay warm, wasting time at Starbucks for absolutely no reason, inside jokes whose origins have been forgotten, and most importantly, noticing what the universe has created for us. So, in conclusion, I would just like to give this piece of advice for all of you in attendance. Please don't forget to look back. Remember the people and the moments that got you here, to this very place and time and space. 
Don't be too eager to leave where we are now, and instead stand still for a second and notice the universe around you, like I am at this very moment. Now, I would like to introduce our valedictorian, Kaylee Melton. take this opportunity to congratulate our seniors who received college scholarships this year. We are proud to announce that 29 students uh, received a total of almost $500,000 in scholarship money. Of our 69 graduates on stage tonight, many will begin college careers in the fall attending such institutions as TJC, Kilgore College, Tarleton State, North Texas, UT Tyler, Texas A&M, Sam Houston, <coughs> ETBU, and Christian Brothers University, just to name a few. I would also like to mention that uh, the senior class of 2016 will also be well represented in the United States Navy, Marines, and Army. Let's give these guys a round of applause. Mr. Bird and distinguished members of the school board, 
I, David Smith, as principal of Troop High School, certify that these students have met the graduation requirements imposed by the state of Texas and Troop Independent School District. I recommend them for graduation as Troop High School Class of 2016.
Jordan McKenna Lynn. Brandon Lee McDaniel. Jeb Celeste Moyer. Delay Moreno. Jose Carlos Moreno. Robert Bryce Neal. Brad Travis Palmer. <laughs> Hannah Amaz Phillips. <laughs> Mark Thomas Phillips. <laughs> Rachel K. Ramirez. James Max Raspberry. <laughs> Madison Brooke Raper. <laughs> Brenda Estella Rojo. <laughs> Max Allen Salinas. Mario Garcia Sanchez. <laughs> Brittany Nicole Steele. <laughs> Lane Warren Smith. <laughs> Summer Diane Stragans. <laughs> Tiffany Nicole <laughs> Square. Jessica Leanne Stockton. My baby, go ahead, girl, go ahead. Troy Reese Thomas. <laughs> Montalise Marie Tilly. <laughs> Megan Emily Pipton. Michaela Moesha Van Zandt. <laughs> Christian Emery Vaughn. <laughs> McKenna Christine Waller. <laughs> Dalton James Ward. Jared Cole Westbrook. Jalen Mark Wright. Jalen May White. Isaiah Harley Williams. Jeffrey Powell, Williams. Trevon Deontay, Williams. 